take the upper right hand corner of the paper and draw it down at a 45 degree angle, so open it back up, and now make the opposite fold. We're again going to take the upper right hand corner of the page, but this time fold it down only so far that now it lines up with the crease from our first fold. And now again, do the same thing on the opposite side. Take the left hand side of the paper and fold it over so that it lines up with the crease made from fold number two. So, you've made folds three and four. Take them now and fold them both down. Do you see where folds three and four intersect on the top of the page? They make a point mm -hmm. about halfway down the page, right. right? Put your finger on that point and now fold the top of the plane over down along that point. Use that point as the axis of the fold. Now comes my favorite fold. We're going to take the top two corners of the plane, all right? And we're going to bring them down so they meet in the middle. Now it's going to actually start looking like a paper airplane. Take the flap that's lying beneath your new uh, airplane nose and bring that up as far as it will go. We are going to fold the plane in half along its body. This is the tricky fold that people really get confused by. You start at the, at the nose of your plane, right? And you want to fold the wing down so that the edge of the wing runs right along the base of your plane, right along the bottom of your fuselage. So the wing is actually going to slope. So the final step now is look at your wings. You want to make sure that your wings have what's called a dihedral angle. You want your wings to be angled up 